Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at the char function in Excel. Now in Excel, every number and every text and every special character has been given a code. Those are like ASCII codes and there are about 255 of such characters. Now the char function can actually take a number and tell you the corresponding text value of it. So let's say for example, uh, the letter A has been coded as 65. Right. So the char function can accept 65 and tell you that the, that the character for this number is 65. Let's take a look at example. Things will become a lot more clear when I explain you with this example. So let's say char and it is just accepting one input, which is a number. Now, let's say I specify a number called 65. Close the bracket, press enter. Now, as of, as of now, I know that 65 stands for the letter A. So char function is going to take 65 and convert that into its corresponding alphabet or a text or a number, whatever it is. So 65 belongs to the letter A. It is going to convert that into a in capital A, right? Uh, similarly, I'm going to write equals to char and then it's asking me for a number. Let's say this time I press 90. Uh, since I've moved 26 characters away from 65 and this is 90, so this is going to be capital Z and you get capital Z, right? So that's the char function. It accepts a number and uh, gives you the character for that number or the number for that number. So let's say if we have to generate a series of alphabets, how can we do that? So I'm going to write the first letter, the first number here, which is 65. I already know that A stands for this and I'm going to say equals to char, uh, pick up the number and then drag this down. Now I'm just going to increase the uh, number uh, here by adding one to the previous number and then I can just drag my char formula down and I get the series of alphabets here, right? And you could also find a little more smarter way of doing it probably by using the rows function. Uh, but as of now, this is a simple way of generating alphabets. Now the question that would obviously come to your mind is that how would you know that uh, 65 as a number stands for A or let's say 77 as a number stands for M, right? How would you actually know this code? For that, Excel has made another function called the code function. Now what happens in the code function, the code function actually accepts a text. So let's say I want to find out that what does small a stand for. So since this is a text, I'm going to put that in inverted commas and close the bracket and I'm going to press enter. Now the code function is accepting a text and is going to give me the code for that. So if I press enter, the code for small a is 97, right? Similarly, let's say I press equals to code and then let's say I want to know the code for a comma and I put the comma in inverted commas, close the bracket and press enter. This is going to give me 44. That means if uh, 44 has to, if 44 was wrapped around the char function, it would actually give you the character for it. And the character for that is a comma, right? So those were the char and the code function in Excel. I hope you like this. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on YouTube and read all our blogs at goodly.co.in. Thank you so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.